Jasperito. ¿Qué pasó? Yes. I don't have my white coat, but I'm gonna do some super scientific stuff. Okay. Um. Da 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 da. What was I? What was I doing? Oh. Exothermic. That's what the name of the company is. Yeah. Exothermic Technologies. They're the ones who make pulse fire. Okay. Um. Right off the bat. I'm gonna change this up. I just did it for the thumbnail. <laughs> I think it looked really cool. But they make these flamethrowers that are super awesome. I don't think I've had I've done any flamethrowers on my or on our channel. I'm gonna start doing them. But I saw this. They sent it to us. They sent this uh, small tiny. Well, compared to the other ones that I've seen, uh, the, uh, this uh, small tiny flamethrower that is super super awesome and cool, and it attaches uh, to the bottom of a Picatinny rail on the bottom of your AR, which I grabbed one right now. I'll show you guys but it uses an igniter, electric igniter. It's got a, a pump inside and supposedly it's a lot safer than any other, uh, any other ones out there. And uh, we'll test it out right now and see how far it shoots. It's my first time playing with fire. Well, no, you know what? No, <laughs> that statement was all wrong. <laughs> it's not my first time playing with fire. It's my first time playing with flamethrower. I'm expert in fire, you know, Jasperi, because of the science channel. Yes. Uh, it's got this nice mount that it comes with and uh, hooks up to the bottom or top of the pick. Like you guys saw, I, I mounted it upside down. I don't know if it operates upside down, so I'm not gonna mess with it like that. And uh, I could have mounted something on the bottom of the 50 BMG, but the bipod was in the way. So uh, for the sake of picture, we'll use that. But it's supposed to go, and again, it's more of a novelty piece, a show piece. You wanna get one of these, get it. It looks pretty cool. It's got a switch in the front to, to turn on the uh, igniter and the pump, I'm thinking. It's got a valve on the bottom, uh, something to do with the safety. Please don't kill me if I don't know what the heck I'm talking about. But uh, so you gotta open up the valve before you can fire it. And just pretty installation. Super easy. I added this pick on the bottom on this one. It goes right on top here. Like that. And snap. So easy, even, even a caveman can do it. There you go. Mounted nice. So now we need a thumbnail with this one, just funny. Installation, super dope, easy. Doesn't take a genius to figure it out. I figured it out and I'm not a genius. I mean, sorry, uh, I'm a scientist. And uh, this is where you put the fuel. Okay, so we're gonna put more fuel in it. Wash my hands, clean my hands. Get ready, we're gonna do some test fire. And uh, oh, you're seeing an oxygen tank. So my idea and concept was to uh, put the oxygen tank somewhere in some place, open the valve and then fire um, flame uh, at it. See what happens, if it'll make it more uh, crazy, with the combustion increase it or something like that, I don't know. I'm just gonna go with it and then we'll maybe burn some stuff. Okay, so one of the uh, applications you can use this on is like bushes around the property you got. I got a bunch of these weeds that are growing and then we're gonna test it. This is my first time, hopefully it doesn't blow up on me. It does come with the battery. There's a battery in there for the pump and you switch it on, I'm guessing. 12.5 volt, it shows the uh, voltage right over here. And I think just push this momentary switch on the bottom and it should work, I don't know. And it broke. <laughs> oh, valve is off, see? There we go. Oh, also wind. It's it's a little windy, so if it's not aiming properly, and uh, that's why. Just right, your camera's kind of crooked. Is it normal? Okay. Let's see. Oh. Oh, this thing is awesome. Oh, this, this is my thumbnail, that's my name. It's not shooting anymore. So it doesn't, uh, I mean, it's a small tank. I'll give him that. 
Valve off, switch off. Let's see if it was empty, that's why. Yeah, it's empty. That's why it didn't uh, operate. Pulse fire, pulse fire. Okay, uh, I made fire also. This thing is super awesome. Let me go fill this up again one more time and then uh, I'll show you guys how it operates when you have it on an AR-15. Okay. Gasolina. That's ready? Follow me, please. Let's just say there was a prisoner running and attacking you. And he had a watermelon head. And then you had an AR-15. Okay, just ready, on, on. You have to be prepared for this. So first, you get rid of his head. <laughs> the sights fell off. The vibration was too much. And then once that's done, you flame him up. And then if you want to cook your watermelon, you can also do that. This was, uh, we didn't think about this clear. This doesn't look good. <laughs> Fire. Uh, burning crosses. That doesn't look good. Well, no, we put that. Uh, we, we only had that so we can put the t-shirt on. We didn't think about it too much. What else can I burn with this thing? What do you got? I can burn. Oh, we came here for the oxygen. Duh. I'm gonna shoot them at the same time. Just for you, make sure the gasoline doesn't. Uh, well, actually, you know what? Clear. Okay, let's go do our oxygen uh, idea. Let's see what happens. These things always have a sticker. Right over here. Just make them close. It says that they are uh, flammable on the top. Fire. And everyone's always scared to have these laying around. So, I'm gonna open the valve, throw fire from the top. I don't know what's gonna happen, honestly. So we'll just see, we'll put the cameras down, everyone go hide. I'm gonna hide behind this wall over here and uh, just kind of use my finger and then uh, throw fire at it. We're gonna introduce fire to the oxygen. That's always a bad idea. But we're all, we're full of bad ideas. Science channel. Ready? Uh, ready. Okay, where are you gonna put that camera? Okay, we're good. Nothing is happening? No! Nothing is happening! Nothing! Spetty, I got your favorite thing. Yes. Gummy bear. I'm a gummy bear. <laughs> I'm gonna see if I can melt it. On valve open, Mr. Gummy, adios. Also keep in mind, uh, the wind is the enemy for this thing. So if it's a little windy, which it is today, I can see the mic uh, uh, thingy thingy. The fur thing, move around. <laughs> thingy thingy. <laughs> Ready? I'm ready. You have to go close.
Okay, that's it for the flamethrower. Uh, shooting fire at the oxygen tank, nothing happens unfortunately. Oh, the gummy fell down on the ground. And uh, But it's a, a pretty cool device. Just wanna check this out. So we'll call it a day for this uh, flamethrower. Thank you to Exothermic. Get on fire. Yeah, cover. Okay, next time we'll do fireworks using this. We come with a lot of fire yes. extinguishers. Fire extinguishers. And then, we and then we'll that. continue with this. But for now, check them out. Uh, Pulse Fire. Is that the website actually? Check the link in the description. And uh, use the coupon code, ta -ta -ta -ta, what did I say? ACC20 to get the 20% off. Off of uh, accessories with the purchase of any flamethrower. That's what the coupon code is actually. 20% off of accessories with the purchase of any flamethrowers. That's a pretty good deal. Exothermic and uh, they make the pulse fire. Check them out, link in the description and that's it, right? We'll come back with more stuff next time. For, yes. Uh, fire extinguisher, you promise? I promise. Okay. But yeah. A lot of fire extinguishers. A lot of fire extinguishers. And we'll play with this somewhere. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and as always, thank you for watching. Let's go clean that up and then we'll continue.